Hello everyone, this is Winter and I am back with another video. So today I'm excited to announce that we finally have VST support inside of Reason version 9.5. I've wanted this feature for a very long time now and was really excited whenever Propellerhead finally announced this. This update just came out today and is available as a free upgrade for all Reason 9 owners. Reason 9.5 also includes a new plug plugin delay compensation feature, which is super awesome for parallel processing. This means that you won't have phasing issues when using more CPU intensive plugins. So what I want to do today is show you how all this will work inside of Reason. So this works with any VST 2.4 compliant instrument or effect plugin, which is just about every VST out there. This is anything from instruments like Serum, Massive, and Contact to effects plugins like Isotope, FabFilter, Waves, and even UAD. So let's go ahead and dive right in and I'll show you how all this works. So inside of Reason, the VSTs operate just like rack extensions. You can go to your browser window and just drag and drop them into Reason's rack. So in order to open up the VST, all you have to do is hit this little open button right here. And it'll go ahead and it pops up. So what we're going to do is just load up a quick preset. Let's just go to the browser window here. Type in flying. Oops. And now that we have the preset loaded, it sounds something like this. So the first thing that we're going to cover is how to do automation with VST plugins. For VST automation, it's really simple. All you have to do is turn on this automation mapping button, and then select the parameter that you want to modulate, which in this case, let's just modulate the filter cutoff. Then if we go ahead and close out the VST, we see that the filter cutoff automation lane has appeared inside the sequencer. So let's go ahead and draw in a note lane real quick. And the automation of this parameter behaves just like a normal rack extension. So we can draw, go ahead and draw in a clip here, drop an anchor point there, drop an anchor point at the end, and now we have a filter cutoff modulation of massive. So the next thing that we're going to be covering is how to do a external controller mapping with a VST plugin. So if you want to map a specific parameter to an external controller, let's say for example you wanted to map the macro controls inside of Massive to a knob on your external keyboard. All you'd have to do is select this remote mapping button, click on the parameter that you want to map, and then move the knob on your external controller. Next just press OK, and whenever I move this knob on my keyboard, you look down at oscillator one velocity on the macro controls, you can see that it's moving. This can be really handy for all sorts of modulation or automation to get more of a live feel to your synthesizer's automation. The next feature that I want to cover is snapshots. A snapshot allows for a picture of a VST plugin to show up in the Reasons device browser, like you can see here with Massive. When you first import a VST into Reason, you won't see an image. To get an image in the browser, all you have to do is go ahead and open up the VST plugin. Then all you have to do is click on this snapshot icon here. Then it'll capture a picture of the device in the browser, which you can see right here. You only have to do this once and Reason will save it and display it in the device browser every time you open up a new instance of Reason. Perhaps one of the most exciting new features of VST integration inside of Reason is that every VST is now fully compatible with control voltage automation. This is one of the unique parts of Reason and Propellerhead took special care to make sure that every VST could engage with this cool feature. So let's say you had an external LFO and you wanted this external LFO to control the filter cutoff in Massive instead of automating it from the sequencer. All you would have to do is open up the CV programmer, open up the synth, hit this little learn button, move the parameter, and now it recognizes that mapping down here in the VST window. So we can go ahead and close Massive out. And then we hit tab to look at the back then we can take the control voltage output of this LFO, plug it into control voltage CV input 1, and now if we open Massive, we can see the control voltage modulation. So this right here is being controlled by the LFO inside of Reason, just like any standard rack extension device. Also on this front panel, you have several controls of the control voltage modulation. You can control the amount of modulation to the specific parameter, just like you would in Thor's modulation bus routing menu. And also if we want to control the base value that it starts at inside of Massive, we can adjust it with this slider right here. If you want to remove a specific control voltage modulation input, all you have to do is hit clear and it removes it from the window. 
The VSTs inside of Reason also support external audio inputs for things like sidechaining. So let's do an example of a simple sidechain compressor. I'm going to go to my effects window and load in an instance of the native instruments solid bus compressor. Just drag and drop it. And then if we turn it around and hit this CV programmer window, we see that there's an optional audio input available on the VST device. What I'm going to do for this sidechain trigger is just take the output of a redrum drum module and plug it into the illuminated inputs 3 and 4 on the VST. Reason automatically recognizes that these two inputs are the inputs that you need for sidechain compression on the VST plugin. So if we move it back to the front of the rack, we can see there's a simple 4 in the floor kick pattern. And if we go ahead and open up the solid bus compressor, all we have to do to get this sidechain compression started is just make it a really hard compression. Threshold all the way down, ratio all the way up, attack all the way down. Hit this sidechain gain button, then it enables the sidechain compression. And then when we play it back, you'll hear a sidechain effect. The VSTs inside of Reason also support plugins that have multiple audio outputs. To show how this works, I'm going to be routing individual drum outputs from Native Instruments Machine into Reason's mixer channels. So if we go ahead and open up this combinator, I have an instance of Native Instruments Machine loaded as a VST plugin, and this is the mixer view inside of Machine. We switch, you can see the drums right here. We have a simple kick, snare, and hi-hat pattern. So what I want to do is route this kick to an individual mixer channel, the snare to an individual mixer channel, and this hi-hat to its individual mixer channel. So what we're going to do is go to Utilities, Mixer Channel, and just create three of them. Let's name them, just to keep everything all tidy. and they're ready to be routed up. So to route the audio from machine, we have to do two things. First, we have to open up machine, go to the mixer view, make sure to select these extended views on the mixer. Make sure to select these buttons so you can see all the extended inputs and output settings. Go to this button that says master and select external output number two, external output number three, and external output number four. Back in the VST window, we can flip the rack around, hit the CV programmer, go to optional audio output, do direct outs three and four into the kick channel, direct outputs five and six to the snare channel, and direct outputs seven through eight into the hi-hat channel. Now, if we just go ahead and solo all these out, we should have our kick and snare pattern. Now, if we go into Reason's Mixer, each of the individual channels is routed into the mixer, and we can use any of Reason's Mixer functionalities like we would for any other normal device. So let's say we want to use the EQ, cut out some high frequencies from the kick. So now in Reason's Mixer, if we want to apply any sort of EQ or compression, we can do so to the individual tracks or machine, just like we would for any rack extension device. All right, so that is it. That is an overview of the new VSTs inside of Reason 9.5. I'm really excited about this update and all of the new possibilities that this opens up for production. I'd love to know y'all's thoughts on the update, as well as what videos you would like to see in the future. Make sure to like and subscribe if you liked the video to stay up to date with future videos. Thanks, and I will see you all next time.